There are some discoveries that answers the questions we've been asking for for decades, and yet there are other discoveries that instead of giving answers, only provide more questions. And sometimes new discoveries make us question the answers we thought we already had. When the scientific community is so sure of how long humans have been on this planet for, how does a single imprint change the common view? When a screw is found in a 300 million year old rock, how do researchers explain finding something so new embedded impossibly into something so old? And could there be a language out there undecipherable to man, never to be understood and completely lost in time? So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these three mysterious ancient discoveries. Two hundred ninety million year old footprint in New Mexico. How long have humans been on this planet for? The most commonly accepted answer from the scientific community says around two hundred thousand years, at least in our modern anatomic form, with perhaps our bipedal ancestors harking further back in time to six million years ago. However, a new discovery in New Mexico has come to turn all these theories upside down. In the footprints of a mountain range in New Mexico, a series of impressions left in the ancient rocks cast new insights into our origins and what life might have looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. Jerry Paul MacDonald, an eccentric paleontologist, was on an expedition in the region, an area well known for the fossilized imprints that might be found there. These imprints are known as trace fossils, physical evidence of tracks, trails and resting marks left behind of now vanished organisms. Usually, Jerry MacDonald might expect to see the imprint of a trail left by a dinosaur or perhaps the burrow of an ancient reptile. What he stumbled upon, however, was far more puzzling than anything he had ever seen before. He came across a certain rock formation, which had several fossilized imprints of creatures from much later periods than the actual age of that rock strata. There were tracks made from modern species of birds and fossilized paw marks of bears that should be much closer to our time period than of the rock they were imprinted on. It's important to note that the period the rock was from was from the Permian period, an era where there weren't supposed to be birds, and was certainly a long time before bears. The evolutionary process for these species just was not underway then. That was all bewildering enough to MacDonald, but then he saw something that did not make any sense at all to him. At least not against prevailing scientific thought. Human footprints. These footprints had the clear characteristics of a human foot, with indications of a mud up-push, essentially a rim of raised relief around the fossilized imprint, which added to its authenticity. What was perplexing, however, was that this footprint was found in the same rock strata from the Permian period. 290 to 248 million years ago. That was the time period long before birds or even dinosaurs existed on this planet, let alone man. Could this be evidence of man's earliest civilization, far beyond anything scientists have ever led us to believe? The Permian period ended with the largest mass extinction in history, with billions of species wiped from the planet, and a devastated ecosystem that took 30 million years to recover. As such, it's not too far a stretch to say that at that time the Earth might have hit the reset button, with this imprint being one of the only things left of an ancient human species that took their place on Earth well before us. Have researchers found a 300 million year old screw embedded into rock? Finding fossilized remains in ancient rock is one thing, but how about a hundred million year old screw that isn't even from this planet? A Russian team sent to investigate a meteorite crater in the region of Kalaga, Western Russia, only expected to find space rock and rubble, but instead found something even more extraterrestrial. Near to the crater hole, the team happened upon a rock dislodged and partially fragmented by the impact of the nearby meteorite. What they found in there was a very strange object the curiousness of which needed further scientific analysis to confirm exactly what they had found. A paleontological analysis was performed, and it was confirmed that in the center of the rock itself was a screw, not placed there by human design, but rather strongly embedded within, suggesting it had fallen to the ground at some point, only to be encased over time. Tests showed that the iron atoms of the screw and silicon rock atoms spread and fused together confirming that the screw and rock had been in each other's company for a significant time. 
It was also concluded that the screw was not the result of natural process, but indeed artificially fashioned. What was even more strange, however, was what geologists said about the age of the rock. Radiocarbon dating placed it to be over 300 million years old. Needless to say, this was a long time before any humans, or their tools for that matter, had ever been on this planet. So how did it get there? Nigel Watson, an expert of the extraterrestrial, believes this could be ancient evidence of aliens visiting Earth a long time ago, with the screw being a part of their landing craft on this planet. This screw could actually be part of many reports that talk of spheres, toothed wheels, manufactured bots and footprints embedded in rocks and stones hundreds of millions of years old. Government scientists insist that this is actually the result of a natural formation, even perhaps being an ancient marine animal that bears some similarity in its looks. However, with this particular rock formation secured in a research facility beyond independent geological and archaeological specialists, it is clear that we will not be getting to the truth of the matter anytime soon. The Mysterious Rongo Rongo Writing of Easter Island Easter Island has long been a source of mystery with the origins of its giant head statues an enigma to so many for such a long time. But this wasn't to be the only enigma found on this small remote island a thousand miles west of South America. The ancient indigenous civilization underwent a perplexing societal collapse that today is still not fully understood. However, the key might be found in a series of undecipherable texts from the island, discovered in the 19th century. In 1864, a Catholic missionary that had landed on Easter Island came across a series of ancient artifacts hundreds of years old, all with unexplainable symbols etched upon them. These symbols came to be known as the Rongo Rongo, and on further inspection seemed to be a kind of writing system, similar to the hieroglyphic nature of the Egyptians. Whilst similar, it was very much distinctive and unique to this Polynesian island. The images ranged from geometric shapes to local plant life and animals, as well as humans. The idea that this might be a series of glyphs as opposed to mere drawings is based on the uniformity of the symbols drawn. Each symbol is precisely one centimeter high, and when it came to the glyph of a human head, every symbol is oriented with the head facing up, facing forward, or looking to the right. There was also an orientation to the writing known as reverse boustrophedon that went from left to right, bottom to top. The glyphs were found on numerous objects such as a chieftain's staff, the statue of a birdman and two cultural ornaments, but the longest continuous text of glyphs were found on 26 irregular shaped wooden tablets. They were intricately inscribed with the images neatly lined up. The lines ran across some of the tablets with the inscriptions written in between, and other tablets had grooves with the glyphs etched into those channels. The etchings carved into the wood seemed to be made by a set of specific writing tools, perhaps small shark teeth or obsidian flakes. The Rapa Nui, Easter Island's indigenous people, are still in existence today, however. So how would this language of theirs be seemingly lost in time? There are several things that make translating the etchings so difficult. The 17th century collapse of the island's ancient civilization created a disconnect between generations, and indeed the cause of such a societal collapse is still a puzzle with no clear answer. A further drawback is the limited number of texts and other contexts with which to understand them. Unlike the Rosetta Stone, which allowed a contextual and comparable understanding of Egyptian hieroglyphs with ancient Greek, there is no such artifact available to this ancient Rapa Nui language. Some researchers say that the Rongo Rongo was not a fully developed writing system, but one might call proto-writing, a set of symbols conveying information without containing any truly linguistic content, or rather a series of symbols communicating limited information. It is thought that deciphering the messages might give clues as to what was behind the island civilization's sudden collapse, with the stories a warning and a lesson to future generations. What is clear is that the Rongo Rongo was a means of communication that speaks to its tribal past. However, as one of only three wholly independent writing systems in human history, it looks like the message of these writings will remain a mysterious symbol of the past to the people of the future for many years to come. But what do you make of these mysterious ancient discoveries? 
Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.